Hi. Hello. Okay. Okay. So let us check if anyone is here. Hello. Hello, hello. I see I have three people joining. Seven. Oh, okay. You are gathering. Hello. If you are here, please say hi. I will be happy to hear from you so that I know that some of you are here with me. Hi! Okay, let's wait a bit if somebody says hi here. Hello, hello! Hi. Okay, hello. Hello, Agnieszka. I hope I said your name right. I know a lot of Agnieszkas, but I... <laughs> you know, sometimes it's hard to pronounce some of the foreign names. Hello, it's nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Hello. Okay, I hope some other people will come forward. Hello, Lynn. Hello. Okay, it's nice to see all of you gathering to, uh, here. Thank you for joining me. So I have pre prepared some of the things today for what we will be making i have here some redesign molds and i have a beautiful rice paper that i just received in my uh, box a few days ago it's one of the papers that really captured me so i will be working with it today hi caroline hello everyone okay now a lot of you is here already so i think it is good to start great agnieszka i'm happy that i pronounced it okay great so um i went ahead and i did the first step on my glass jar as you maybe see it on my Facebook Live announcement, it was a glass jar and it was not painted before when I was uh, taking photo of it. But I decided I will go ahead and I will uh, cover it with one step, with one, uh, sorry, coat of uh, heavy white gesso from Finavar because these things uh, usually take some time to dry and i just didn't want to bore you with me coloring it uh, and drying it too long but um, always these things need at least two coats uh, so we will be making the second coat together and i will show you uh, some uh, tricks for making a beautiful texture on it um so i am suggest i suggest that we start with it i hope you are ready and excited as i am so um as i mentioned i did my first cover with heavy gesso from finavar and i used this um sponge for coloring i love to use sponge for coloring because it gives um special texture it's not um uh it's not smooth surface but it is a surface like a stone wall so it's really beautiful surface and now together we will be making uh the second 
uh, coat because we want this glass jar to be completely uh, covered and white um, so that we can then apply uh, our rice paper. I will take some of the uh, gesso out from my um, from my uh, jar and I will be just dipping this um, this sponge in it and I will be going through. You can just push it like this and then after you just tap it tap it, uh, tap it on the surface and you get this beautiful surface like you would have a stone wall. Yeah, it's a lovely texture and I really, really like to use it. Um, it gives uh, more of the shabby uh, look to the project. Um, and also there is another plus with coloring in such a way. Um, it is more um, consist consistent coverage than if you would be covering it with a brush. Um, so I really, really like to work with with this in such way. Thank you, Agnieszka. I hope you will like what I do with this. I actually didn't know what to prepare for you for quite some time. You know, after some lives, you just are not sure what do you like the best. But I think each thing is interesting for someone so I'm hoping this will be um, also interesting and maybe inspire some of you to make something like this at home. Um, I hope you hear and see me well. If you don't hear me well please just let me know although I have no idea what I would do then <laughs> but okay <laughs> so yeah um, I just like to pull it like this so that it spreads through the glass because otherwise you just uh, on some parts you just have too much of the color and then on top I go with uh, dabbing and you get the perfect coverage of this okay so then we will be drying it um, probably the drying process will take some time but I can look at your conversation in between if you will um, if you will talk some more <laughs> so I would be able to talk with you. Oh hi Patty, thank you. I'm not sure if that my English is perfect, but I'm trying. So thank you. It really means a lot. Um, I will just go with the brush here on the uh, neck of this glass jar because um, it is not wide enough that I could just go. Okay, you see here I lose some paint. Uh, it is not wide enough so I can just dab it. I wouldn't uh, go into all the um spaces so i will just dab on top of it and yeah i'm taking some color off um, we will be drying it don't forget on the top of the jar it also needs to be colored so we will do this also hi for hi to friends hi denise and Poland, yes. Oh, hi to South Africa. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Patty. I'm happy you like my English. <laughs> it's not my um, native language, so you know it's always hard to uh, to talk and chit chat in foreign language. But we are all trying, so. <laughs> I will now be drying this. Um, I hope the sound doesn't bother you too much. I know it's a bit uh, loud, but we just have to dry this before we can go to our next steps. 
so i will dry this and in between you can uh, talk to me ask some questions and i will happily answer your questions okay and i see that we have the first question um patty the rice paper that i will be using is from prima it's prima rice paper it's really beautiful i love it um i will open it later and i will show you what is the thing that most um convinced me from these papers they are really beautiful i will put this like this and i will just write well so uh, we have to dry this really nicely um, so that when we will be applying another layer and the rice paper um, it won't come off I hope it doesn't bother you the sound of this yes some beautiful flowers are on it they are like roses uh, or peonies um, so we will be pairing them with some uh, roses from the molds maybe even some paper roses I'm not sure yet I will try whatever works best and I will go with whatever works best for me so um, I never exactly know what I will do I always try different things and later on see what is the best uh, thing what looks best hi Peggy to California hello yes I love rice paper also they are really beautiful okay I really have to ask I see some people that are here and they are always pressing those angry faces I'm not exactly sure why <laughs> but it's it seems funny to me okay i understand that all of you doesn't like it but you know you can always stop watching hello to portland okay so i think this is dry now i hope this is dry um and now i will be adding some rice paper yes it's international life okay so now i will be opening these rice papers i really really love these rice papers they are so beautiful let me show you um it's the name of rice papers is tranquil bloom and what convinced me most is that when you look at these papers okay you see the transition here it just go it, it's just you know it's the strong pattern and then softer and softer and uh, until it disappears and i was thinking that it is perfect for such kind of project because you can leave the bottom part and then uh, the bottom part is all only white you know it's so nice so i will now try to work with this i didn't even try so i have to see if it goes all the way around yes it goes perfect um and i will be actually let me see how big it is okay okay i think i will leave this here i was actually thinking to start here somewhere because i want to add some more things okay i see we will almost completely leave out this part so i will just i will just store it the best part about rice paper for me is that you can just tear it and then when you apply it it's really natural and soft 
transition between the colored part and between the uh, the paper yes it's really beautiful beautiful um, it's really beautiful pattern this is one of my favorite papers so far when I saw it I said okay this is something I really really must use um, and I think I will be ordering more because I really really like it so hi West Midlands Hi, Gloucestershire. I have no idea how to spell this. <laughs> Sorry. So, yes, I will be now applying this. I'm not sure if this will... Okay. And we will be applying this rice paper on the surface. I'm not actually sure how hard this will be, considering that we, have, that we don't have the straight surface but we will try okay it's uh the first time that i'm actually working with these uh, rice papers i have been working with rice papers before but mostly on straight surfaces so this will be a challenge for me also but it's nice to have challenges here and there right Hi to South Africa! Oh, how many of you are here? I'm so happy to see you all. I will be just cleaning now my brush and we can start. I will use um, Finaware Soft Mud Gel to apply rice paper. This is really perfect medium for so many things. You can apply uh, different uh, small additions to, uh, to, e to, to the project or you can just use it to, um, to apply uh, rice papers or any other papers, decoupage papers and so on. So I will be just covering this with a soft mud gel. It uh, dries transparent so it's perfect for such things. I will be now adding it like this. I want to have the surface as much, uh, pattern as much straight as possible. And I will be going on top, of course, again with soft mud gel. Oh, I think this will be nice. I already love it. Do you see it? Do you love it? I think this is gorgeous. I can't wait to see it finished. You just color the surface of the jar and you just go over with the rice paper. Um, what is nice in rice paper is that it goes well, it goes really together uh, it goes really well when you um, put it on the banded surfaces um, and it doesn't show the, the, uh, the parts where it's not straight. Yes, it has to be white gesso because it's really gentle paper, really... Um, soft color and i don't think it would look nice on darker uh surface but maybe i'm wrong maybe uh, you should try you can try it and um if it would be on the dark then the dark color would go through but i think it's really soft and shabby cheek pattern so i feel it goes perfectly together with the white gesso and just go all the way around to cover the whole jar with this beautiful paper okay we are almost around so like this okay and like this and later on I will show you how you can 
just blend it together so you don't have the um, too much straight um, that you don't see the pattern to cut off. I sometimes don't find the right words. So, okay, we are around and around. How do you like it? Yes, I think the light per surface is the the only one for this pattern. Yeah, we like glass jars. You can use it now. <laughs> I love to use um, to recycle glass jars. They are perfect for you know um, for some flowers or something, some decoration. So I really love to use. Uh, use jars uh, now I will dry this because otherwise it will just go away I will dry this and then we will add some more gesso to it thank you Karen thank you Michelle thank you Patty thank you Caroline I'm so happy you like it Oh my goodness, I didn't even see how many people we have today. I think this is a record for me. So thank you for joining me. Okay, I think it is dry enough. We have over a hundred people watching. Thank you so, so much. Uh, you have no idea I can tell you how much this means to me. It's really nice to see so many of you. Yes, thank you, thank you. So, uh, this, is dry. Oh, this is almost dry now, but it's dry enough so we can uh, proceed with another step. And now I will be adding just a bit of gesso here and there uh, to just cover those transitions, you know, to make them more soft. Um, they are already soft, but I would love for them to be even a bit more softer. So I will just take my brush, uh, take dry brush because um, it works best. And you just go uh, into white gesso and you just um, dry brush over your pattern a bit and you can make, you know, the, the transitions more soft. It looks even more beautiful and like it is one surface okay so i always like to do this and you can go here you see and you make it so that the pattern just slightly goes through you can also correct some parts that maybe weren't dry enough and they peeled off because we are working alive it is harder to wait that things are completely dry so sometimes you have to go back and correct things a bit do you see it i really really like this and you can also go a bit on the on the roses it makes the look even more shabby like this okay hi texas hello 
Now you are counting for me. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, it's really nice to see so many people joining. Um, that This is actually my second life today, you know. I already had life um, three hours back. Um, it was on my YouTube channel and because we have this uh, nice YouTube hops together we are stronger and a lot of the uh, artist is hopping from one YouTube channel to another and each has uh, life on its own channel and you can really see lots of amazing mixed media uh, pieces be made live so this is actually my second life today and I'm really enjoying it I hope you are enjoying it too I really love how this is coming out. Uh, Tracy, hello. Thank you for joining us. I, uh, I am using uh, white gesso from Finavar and I am just blending my uh, transfer, uh, not transfer, rice paper that I put on. The rice paper is from uh, Prima and it is called Tranquil Bloom. It is a beautiful rice paper. And I put it on two coat of white gesso. Yes, white gesso and um, rice paper on top and some more gesso to blend everything together and make it a little more shabby. Okay? I hope I answered everything. Like this. How do you like it? I really love this. I have to buy flowers so I can put them in. It's not so easy to do that actually because we are completely close for, I don't know, from the October. This is insane. So yeah, how do you like it? I really love this. Yes, gesso is, uh, hi to Canada, gesso is actually a primer, Tracy. Um, it's primer with which you uh, cover canvas or something, anything um, that you want to work with colors on top. If you cover it with this, you prepare it for the colors to flow and not to soak in. Um, no, it's not Mod Podge, but yes, it functions kind of similarly and it makes a coat on top so you can uh, cover it with colors. This is white gesso, uh, there is also black gesso and clear gesso. So if you are working with patterned papers, you can cover it with clear gesso and apply colors on top. If you are working with something else, you can also apply heavy white gesso or heavy black gesso. So this is on short, <laughs> but it's a primer. You can also use white acrylic paint, yes. Um, but it has to be a paint that, that has a good coverage. Uh, gesso has quite a good coverage. Um, there is also a white impasto paint from Finavar also. Uh, also white impasto paint uh, could work pretty with this. Uh, it has a very, very good coverage. It's acrylic paint. Uh, it's waterproof and um, you could also color with this one. Um, but um, I like in this case the gesso better because it's more shabby and more white. Okay, so now we color this. I will just dry it a bit. Okay. Yeah, Tracy, you are welcome. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so 
so now I want to also use some molds on this piece uh, I really love these Prima molds and I want to use them to make this glass jar a little bit more beautiful I was thinking to actually add um, this border around here I will be using the mold from Redesign with Prima Hi Dawn! Yes, I'm using a heat gun to dry my uh, uh, to dry my uh, my color so now I, I will be making some uh, casts out of the molds I'm using Prima uh, Redesign modeling material and a beautiful mold which also has roses yes molds <laughs> so I will be just adding this modeling material material to the mold um, I love these molds they are so nice and for making borders they are so perfect so we will be making a border around our glass jar I think it will make it so pretty and after all after uh, this we will be playing with some waxes also from Finavar uh, to add some gold touches to it so I'm just pushing this Prima molding modeling material into my mold and shaping it and after that we will be taking it out the name of uh, rice paper is uh, Tranquil Bloom it's Tranquil Bloom and it's really beautiful rice paper okay you just put it like this it's really easy to work with I have a, a big stack of molds also Georgia but we are always missing one you know or two or three <laughs> there are some molds I would really like to have and I don't have them yet so yeah maybe in the future but actually if you think well all Prima molds are really beautiful so any any mold that you choose will be just perfect okay so I will be now applying this I think I will have to make another one because I don't think it will go around all the way around uh, I will be using 3d matte gel to attach this mold to my glass jar uh, it is also from Finavar but it is a bit stronger than the soft matte gel that I was using before for the rice paper this one is actually perfect for adhering, adhering anything uh, also the heavier objects like uh, metal or something like that um so it works really well and i was adding this and i'm just applying this around okay a, just a bit okay i think i won't be making another one because it just comes together almost if i stretch it a bit it just comes together okay perfect so I don't even have to make another one it is enough and I will just wipe away some leftovers from this gel that are picking out this will dry uh, this is perfect uh, modeling material is perfect to use on such surfaces because you can just bend it around your shape yeah there is always something we miss true <laughs> very much true <laughs> there is always something we need very badly so yeah <laughs> i will be now um going on top with another coat of white gesso 
because I want to make this um, this uh, cast white so it goes together well with the rest of my jar okay I just took again the white gesso and I'm covering it how do you like it yes it glues down stuff forever <laughs> Okay, so we are just coloring this mold with white gesso to make it white and to go with the rest of our design. Okay. Okay, just a bit more. okay uh, sometimes these molds when they dry they can shrink a bit uh, so it's okay also if you have some um, additional on the back but I like it like this so I will leave it like this yes mold works perfectly you see it just goes so well with this i will dry it a bit now again so excuse me the noise Okay, I think it is dry. Uh, Karen, I do have, um, I actually mostly publish on my uh, Facebook profile, Alexandra Michelic. You can uh, click on it and you can add me if you want. I also have, <laughs> thank you, Patty. I also have YouTube channel, um, if you add me as a friend or, or if you just visit my profile, you will see a lot of uh, things published and almost uh, always there is also my YouTube uh, channel uh, published, so um, I'm sure you will find anything you need. So, I think this is it, but we are not finished yet. <laughs> I'm not sure I was my my uh, first idea was to actually add some of these roses also I'm not sure how they will work with this uh, design but I want to try them out are you for it or not <laughs> I will try to make one rose and I will see how it works with the design this is another one of Prima molds, which I really like. It, these are beautiful roses. And I'm thinking it would add a bit. This was actually my first idea to add this. Um, but, you know, always when you are making something, you can see that you are not so sure if something will work with the design you made, you just made. Um, so... But we can try it we have enough time um, there's no problem if you see that something is not working you just remove it and you say okay I won't go with this but you know you tried it and um, you can tell if it works or not yes but I actually like it so I will add it I will add it because I like it I have to I want to find the side of the glass jar that is most appealing to me and I will add this here and I will actually make another one. Oh uh, Tammy I don't know I'm 
almost sure you can find it somewhere in Canada. Uh, maybe if you search for retailers for Prima stuff, uh, you can find it. Um, I have to admit that I have no idea where are the retailers in Canada, but I'm sure there is some list of the retailers. Or maybe just look uh, on the internet, uh, Prima and Canada, and maybe you will find some shops. I'm actually from Europe, from Slovenia, um, and Prima stuff is not easy to find here. Um, so yes, I know how it is if you cannot get some things, but okay, it's getting better, I think. We are receiving more and more stuff, and it makes me happy. I will go like this. Okay, I will put this away first so it doesn't bother me. Yes, mixed media place is nice. It's in Europe, it's in uh, Ireland. Uh, we love to buy from it. Okay, so now I will add this also. I will again take my 3D gel. And I will just use, use it to add it to the back of my roses. And to apply it to my jar. It's nice to work with this because you can just bend it. And you have no problems adhering, adhering them to the jar. And this. I actually love this. I hope you like it too. My hands are dirty. Uh, yes, this 3D gel is from uh, Prima, uh, it's from Finavar by Prima. So uh, Finavar designs it and Prima product uh, is uh, responsible for the production. So this is actually Prima um, product. I'm sure you can find it anywhere with Prima. So... I will again go over with some gesso, white gesso over the flowers. I hope you are enjoying this. Okay. And then we have a bit more steps left. Oh, okay, this is not good. My brush is slightly colored, so I will take another brush. Sometimes some colors just don't go completely away. And I should know that because it was a bit red. But it's okay, it goes well <laughs> with the color. So I hope you see it well. I really like this. Uh, we will cover these uh, roses from molds with gesso and dry them. And then I will show you another trick that I think will make our jar look a bit more glamorous. Okay, now we have to dry it. I love how it looks. Okay, let me see if this is dry. It's dry. I think it's dry enough. And now I will show you the product I really, really love. 
and it is the wax the finaver wax um, i will be using vintage gold to add some touches some touches of gold to it i think it will look really nicely and it will give um a bit of a contrast between the soft base that we made here and um it will look even more beautiful i think so i will just open this and oh i don't know if this is oh, i actually don't have any smaller one i think i will just take a regular brush and i will go with this okay and i will be first adding some of the wax to my um to the edge of the jar do you see how beautiful it looks you just add adds a special touch to this I'm trying to bring you closer so you can see it. I'll just give this here. I hope you can see it well. This is the metallic wax from Finavar and the color is vintage gold. It is one of my favorite products from Finavar and you have to smell it when you buy it. <laughs> because it smells really nice now i will go a bit through with uh, the wax on top of my border with flowers just to highlight some parts and to make it even more beautiful okay i really love how this is coming together okay i hope you like it and it goes perfectly together with this pattern which is golden you see so now the last part that we need is the rose of course we will also be adding some on the roses they smell like heaven yeah <laughs> i actually had few students students when i was making workshops who <laughs> couldn't wait to come to the workshops with waxes because they always smelled it <laughs> and they were using so much time to make the pro project because they were taking really a lot of time to smell their waxes <laughs> so yeah they smell so beautifully it's funny right but it's yeah it's nice <laughs> okay another thing i will do is that i will put some waxes on the bottom because i want to have um the same pattern here and down i just feel something is missing if i don't add some gold at the bottom okay i think i ran out of this thank you i'm happy you like this it really makes me happy okay so this is it I think we finished what do you think there is another step I would like to make and I will take I will take chest of gold art alchemy acrylic paint also from Finavar 
and I will do some splashes. I love splashes and I feel that they bring project together so nicely. So I will do some splashes here also and I feel they will go well together with this uh, dots that we have in the pattern so i'm just taking a bit of the color acrylic color and i'm just reduce re reducing diluting it down with some water so it flows nicely and i'm taking my scissor scissors and i'm going on top with some splatters i think this really brings out everything so nicely and you can of course go round and round and just make it nice i hope i won't ruin it because i put the i put it down on the table so yeah be gentle when doing this okay hi to austria we are almost finishing up but the replay will be available so even if you missed it you can still watch it okay i will also publish the photo of my project so you can watch it you can see it so i think this is it I hope you liked it. Uh, Jana, uh, tole je chest of gold. This is the chest of gold color, um, acrylic paint from um, Finavar Art Alchemy Sparks. Yes, the splashes um, finish it up perfectly. So I really, really like to add some splashes um and i really love uh what came out of this so i hope you like it too i hope you enjoyed it as i did um thank you again everyone for joining me for spending this hour with me it was fun i enjoyed it a lot and uh, we will see each other next uh, weekend i have my next live uh, next saturday again in this group again at same hour uh, so i will be sharing some more of my projects projects and processes and i hope you will enjoy uh, thank you all for joining me enjoy the rest of your day evening or whatever time it is in your country Thank you, Georgia. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Themi. Thank you, everyone, so much for being here with me. Um, enjoy your day and see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, Brigitte. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes, Linda, replay if you missed it. Uh, it will be available on pre in Prima Redesign Group. I will also upload it to my YouTube channel later on. So it will be available for all that uh, missed out on it. Thank you, Apexa. Thank you, Caroline. Enjoy your day. Thank you, Agnieszka. Bye. Bye-bye.